Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. are new to my channel my name is ali i upload four videos a week beauty bible and lifestyle so if any of those interest you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video okay guys so for today's video i have an entire full face of first impressions this is just about all the makeup that you guys saw in my haul which will be linked up above so yeah i have everything from lashes to foundation to primer i ordered i placed two separate color pop orders because i'm an idiot and i just didn't the thought came to me to buy a second palette to give away after i already purchased my first order so there's that um <laughs> But anyways, I, that order had a sponge in it and another palette. And then like I had like a blush and all this other stuff. Luckily, I don't need the blush because I have a new blush and highlighter to try out. I just really wish I had the sponge because then it would have been like an entire first impressions except for brushes and stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. I did also ask you guys on Instagram and not very many people responded. But I asked you guys like, what are some of your favorite drugstore makeup products? One person, all they said was Milani, and I was like, but what from Milani? Like, Milani has so much. So anyways, since the person um, didn't really respond to, like, what they liked from Milani, I just picked up the Milani Fruit Fresh Make It Last, and I had picked this up because I had planned on doing a first impressions, and I was like, ooh, I need a setting spray to try out, even though I don't need any more. I don't need more sprays, but I needed a setting spray for my first impressions. So, if that makes any sense, I picked this one up and then whenever I went to look for, I went to Walmart to look for lashes. And I think these were the only lashes I found. Yeah, I went to Walmart to look for these lashes and I was like, I forgot that I bought a setting spray and I was like, ooh, I need a priming and a setting spray. And I picked up this one from Elf. So, anyways. <laughs> That is why you see two setting sprays here and we're gonna try them both. But I feel like my chair is weird. I don't know, let me fix my chair and then we'll start with all of this. Also, I changed my light a little bit. Is it too much? Is it weird? I have my lights, let me move this one up too. So I have my lights like right up on me today because I'm working with natural lighting as well. But I don't know, do you guys like it? Do you guys like the new background? I like the new background. I like it a lot. I feel like it's a lot more simple than whenever I was in the corner. Cause whenever I was in the corner, like you had all the stuff on the wall on this side, then you had all the stuff on the wall on this side, and then you had the window and then you had my desk. And I just feel like this is a lot more crisp and sleek and it might stay like this. Well, I'm lying, I like to rearranged but i really like the room this way so anyways yeah let's go ahead and get into this so um we'll save that primer because i did have two primers but i plan on doing a full face of la girl so i'd like to try to keep as many things like a surprise for me in that video so i'm gonna use my um i'm gonna use the hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer this is just what it looks like i see all over youtube and even tiktok that like this is a dupe for ignore the pimple that this is a dupe for the milk makeup primer and i did try the milk makeup primer a couple of times and i did really like it um i can't recall if it made me break out you guys speaking of breakouts i figured out what this was i remembered what was making me break out and it's the pharmacy cherry cleansing balm my skin does not like it maybe i should just put this on my fingers oh hey look it's even the same color which is weird because the packaging like you would think they would make this part green since it comes out green but i guess since it's hydrating it's blue makes sense it makes sense my only thing though is that i like pore filling stuff and but this says plumps moisturizes and perfects Hyaluronic acid and agave help to moisturize the and grip makeup helps to plump skin and to diminish the appearance of fine lines. Gripping formula help extend wear. We shall see, we shall see. And then I am gonna go ahead and use this e.l.f. Um, facial oil mist. This was only $5. Like this is one of their cheaper sprays. Like I feel like all of their sprays are upwards of $8. 
or eight dollars and up and this one was only five dollars so i was like great let's try it i got the energizing one because i'm always tired my skin's always tired there's just a lot of tiredness always going on did i even press record yes i did so anyways going in with the spray i hope this sticky stuff comes off going in with the spray Nice little mist. Okay, so now that that's done, we are gonna go ahead and go in with brows. So um, when I asked one of you guys, Karina, responded that her favorite drugstore brow pencil is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And this is a lot of people's favorite, but you see, I like the, I didn't grab tweezers, scissors, lash glue so anyways i was going to say that my favorite eyebrow pencil of all time is a little video five dollar la girl shady slim brow pencil y'all this brow pencil is double that price so it better be good and i'm gonna fill in my brows with only pencil today because we didn't get no pomade so first of all let's comb these into place. I like my little mirror. I got it from the Dollar Tree. They have a lot of these where it's just black, but then they have like these diamond like sheets, like adhesive sheets. So I put this on, I put that on there so that way everybody, I wouldn't have the same mirror as everybody else who got one from the Dollar Tree. Okay, let me do my eyebrows real quick, y'all, and I'll be back. Okay. 15,000 years later, I keep getting nitpicky, but I'm going to stop before I completely change the shape of my brows. So let's go ahead and get into it. Trying out the NYX Brow Pencil, Micro micro Brow Pencil. And I got the shade Espresso. So already I don't like how the tip is whenever you first buy it. Like why is it a flat tip? Why? Why doesn't it come to a point? Already don't like that. Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and just start doing them. Okay, I got espresso thinking, hey, pretty close to black. It's brown, like a red brown. Oh Lord, all right, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Hmm. Well, not mad at the formula because I was able to do that really fast with the brow pencil. Hmm. Just mad at the color at this point and the fact that this did not come with a pointy tip. Other than that, we Gucci. I do like the fact that it does not take long to do your brows with this because I did that really fast. I like the way my brows came out. I like it. I like it a lot. So y'all guys know that I like to prime my eye. Oh, I need to clean up my brows. Prime my eyes with concealer and I'm going to clean up my brows. So the first thing I'm taking is this I Heart Revolution Heartbreak, Heartbreakers Mascara and I got mine in the shade Paraline. Yeah, Paraline, Paraline, Paraline. So I got dip on my nails this time because like I really want to strengthen them. And well, shellac starts to peel up. So I didn't like that. So I went with a dip and yeah, I really, really like this color. Oh look, it matches my shirt. But anyways, I really, really like this color, but I don't like, what, the only thing I don't like about the dip is that it makes your nails a little bit thicker. So like you can't really use your nails for anything. Taking my favorite little brush. Oh, this is matte. The little thing is matte. Hopefully this isn't matte. Maybe I should have read the description of this. I don't know. Look, it's a heart. Look at the wand. The wand's a heart. Oh. Just by the way it looks like right there, I can tell that this is a more matte concealer. Let's see, you can see the difference in the brows, like whenever you 
do clean up and like whenever you don't like it just looks brighter and more lifted rather than whenever you don't clean it up the only thing about this doe foot is i noticed already like it doesn't pick up a lot of product now i'm just gonna take this one and prime my lips with it yeah no don't know how i feel about the wand because i feel like the, the shape is cute the shape of the wand is cute but it's not very practical because it's kind of hard to pick up like get actual like enough product on the wand so i feel like it's definitely something that you're gonna have to keep going back into like dipping dip take it out dip take it out <laughs> that's not like dip take it out dip take it out that sounds like a nasty song so for today's palette i'm very very excited we've got the colourpop at foresight draw beauty christy x colourpop palette so exciting so the carton matches the actual palette and ooh, this literally just came in the mail yesterday oh my gosh this is so pre so pretty so be basic or not to be basic or not to be basic or not let's go in with chantero this one in our crease it doesn't have a mirror on it there's no mirror you guys there's no mirror so i feel like because of my name on instagram like whenever i tag bigger youtubers in it or in stuff or i message them they avoid me because my name is beauty and bible but i think because it says bible like people think i'm gonna be like this more mean judgmental person and i'm not that didn't take but two seconds to blend. Next, just a little bit of fallout. Next, I'm going to take Rainer right here and apply that into the crease as well. I need to clean my brushes. I like this palette because what you see in the pan is actually what you get. I have experienced that. I have two other ColourPop palettes. I have the Orangey Glad and the mood nude mood palette and i can i feel like they're they don't always apply to the eye the way they look in the in the pan like the color is completely different so i do like that color that you see in the pan is what you're getting on your eye i like these they're, they blend really good so i'm gonna do something a little bit crazy so now i feel like all these colors go together in a sense so what I want to do is I want to take PNW and I'm going to put that into my crew. Just packing it onto the outer edge and then blending it into the crease. Wow, that's a, that is a powdery shade. I need a different brush for this. We ain't done yet, y'all. Don't judge the look till it's done. So far, so cute. So you do get quite a bit of fallout, but that doesn't bother me. Just that's what I'm gonna do. Do what you want to your palette. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. And I don't know if I want to take this evergreen shade because it's like so like just like it would match because of the brown in the crease and then like it shifts so the green would match the blue. But then this West Coast shade is like the ultimate perfect gold. Let's try evergreen and see how we like it. If not, we can always cover it up with um, West Coast. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to cover this up with West Coast because I'm not, I'm not a fan, not of the shade, just of the shade with this eyeshadow look. But just to even it out, we gotta put it on the other eye now. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit, just a smidge too green on the eye. Like it doesn't look like the swatch right here. 
like this watch right here has like a really strong brown shift and maybe it's because I used, I don't know, but I swatched with my finger too. So I don't know. I don't know guys. So now we're gonna take West Coast and just go over top of that. lashes. Okay, so eyeshadow look is done, but I really want to try out this Essence a Super Precise Eyeliner. And this is long lasting and waterproof. So I am not used to working with the brush, so I don't have my elf eye tapes by me so I'm just going to use regular tape and this will also help with the fallout a little bit. It'll help pick up some of that fallout as well. It's help us get a really straight line so like I said I ain't used to working with the brush tip so here goes nothing. Nobody breathe. Y'all know why I don't like brush tips or liners like this? It's because when I was a kid, I would always get them in my eye and my eyes would burn. I just touched my eye with this and it burns. Not the eyeliner's fault, my fault, but it burns. The wing was not as big as I expected it to be. Oh, huh, that's cute. And they're even. Okay, so I the only mascara I have is the LA Girl Volumatic Mascara, that's just what it looks like, so. Yeah, I don't, um, if you already have thick, full lashes, you might like this because it does do a good job at lengthening and separating, but I wouldn't really say that it's volumatic. This look is really dramatic. So I was gonna go in with my Kiss Zero One, but perfect thing is I have actually never tried the Kiss So Flirty, is that I have never tried the Kiss So Flirty lashes, like tried them on. I've tried Kiss lashes, but not this style. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and try them. Ooh, these are cute. These are my very, very massive Kiss Lash Adhesive. So I was like, oh, the Kiss Lash Adhesive sucks. I need to find a new lash glue. And then I was trying a new lash glue and then that lash glue sucked. And I was like, well, the only other one I have is my Kiss one. Like, let me just use it. So I went to use it and I was like, wait, why did I think this was bad? I don't know. Okay, so now moving on to the face, what we have is the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. Juicy Jazz has been using this recently in her videos and it just looks so good on her skin. The shade range at my family dollar wasn't that great. I, great. I don't know what their shade range is looking like online or maybe where you live, but at the family dollar I went to here, it was not that great. But she's, she has like, she said her skin was on the more on the dry side right now, but she still liked it. So, four pumps is enough, right y'all? I think so. So anyways, that is why we are using for sure a sponge today with this foundation because it is matte and your girl leans more dry. My skin's actually pretty normal right now, but things can look dry on my skin. So I didn't know because it was matte, but it actually has like some slip to it. Has good coverage. Perfect shade match. I got the shade soft beige, and y'all, it's hard to tell the shades in the store because y'all know the lighting in Family Dollar be all, be weird. So, actually guessed a really really good shade. So 
So I do want to add just a little bit more because you see like my fault, but where I was picking at these pimples right here, they look kind of like ugly. Dang, this lid is hard to get off, which will be good. Then my boys can't get in it, but dang, that was hard to get off. Let's see what it builds up like because that is a really, y'all, that foundation is $4. $4. And look at that. Just, just look, it really does look good. Like, so good. Brows look good, eyeshadow looks good. These lashes are cute, this foundation looks good. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> okay. Hopefully this don't mess it up y'all, but now it's time to go in with concealer. And like I said, I just, I don't, is the applicator cute? Yes, the idea is very, very cute. But it's just not a practical applicator. Um, it does a good job at brightening. Like you can definitely tell it brightened, but it didn't do much coverage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to do like a second. I mean, it's buildable. Not full coverage, but with the foundation, I didn't need it to be full coverage. But to set, we're trying out the LA Girl Pro Powder High Definition Setting Powder. This is a white powder, so obviously, if you're worried about flashback and stuff like that, don't buy it. I'm not. I don't. I'm not out here taking professional pictures for no reason. Well, it doesn't look white on the skin. Like it truly is translucent. So that's a good thing. Okay, when I pull it back, that's a lot of powder underneath my eyes. Like it is literally like dusting off of my face, but I'm glad that it does that because it built up quite a bit right here. All right, so to finish up the lower lash line, I did go ahead also pick up. So the eyeliner I bought was Evergreen, right? That's what this, oh, Spare Time. Why did I think Evergreen? Did I use Evergreen on my eye? Yeah, I used Evergreen on my eye. That's why I thought of the name Evergreen. Spare Time. And so this is just the color right here. Super pretty and it's actually going to tie in that area of my eye. So we are just going to tight line with that. We're gonna take these brushes, no excess. So this is the color, the first color that we use. Nothing's really coming off. So we're gonna have to dip back in. So going in with Chanterelle. Chanterelle, Chanterelle. Y'all, I'm terrible at remembering names. Now we're gonna go back in with that LA Girl. Volume Attic Mascara, Volumatic Mascara. I do not like this one. I was scrolling on Instagram and I seen they have these little shields that you can put up underneath your bottom eyelashes whenever you do your mascara so you don't get it everywhere. So now we are gonna go ahead and go in with the Milani Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzer. Leela said that this was her favorite um, bronzer prop or one of her favorite drugstore items. And so that's why we are trying out this bronzer. shabby I, I i like this bronzer i like it it reminds me a lot of the um physician's formula one so for blush we have these two elf bite size blush palettes i have this one in cantaloupe and this one in white peach so i think i'm going to use white peach just because it matches what i have going on in my crease really really well right now Okay, so I'm not going to use the highlighter in here because we have a ColourPop eyeshadow. And this is their Super Shock um, highlighter. I got the shade Lunch Money because whenever these first dropped, you guys, like whenever they very first came out, 
this was the color that I was like, ooh, I want. And I've never even actually like felt, like in my life have I ever felt this formula. So I would, I'm excited to touch it. Well, okay, Jose. I like that. So stinking cute. Okay, so for lips, I had a essence lip liner like way back in the day. It was a red essence lip liner and it was their um, automatic ones, but I've never tried their soft contouring lip liners and these are their wooden ones. And this one is in the shade under my skin, number six. So we're just gonna line our lips with this and then we have a different lipstick to actually go in with and a gloss. So the only real reason I'm trying this out on camera is to let you guys know how the formula is because I am very, very well aware that this lip shade does not go with this eye look, but this formula, some point. Not a bad lip liner, I like it. And I know guys, it looks like I overlined my lips, but literally my lip line is under there. See from the side, my lip pouts, I don't overline that. I just go right at the edge. <laughs> okay, so now for our lipstick, we're going in with this LA Girl Matte Lips Flat Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick. And this is in the shade Snuggle. This does not look like this. Those are two completely different colors. <sighs> Anyways, taking off that lipstick because it's a pretty color and a great formula. It just is not the color for this look. Not the color for this look. Okay, so we're gonna go in with our e.l.f. brown lip liner. That's literally what it is called, dark brown, I believe. Cute. Now I'm going in with my Ulta Beauty lipstick in Sweet Caramel, Caramel, Caramel. How do y'all say it? And that, my friends, is a much better lip combo for this eye look. Okay, so last but not least, going in with the Raw Beauty Christy X ColourPop Lips Lip Gloss. This is their Luxe Gloss, and I picked up the shade Glacier because I had enough colored glosses, and I didn't have a clear gloss like this. So I was like, why the heck not? So now for setting spray, we're gonna try the Milani Fruit Fresh Make It Last setting spray. I love the Make It Last setting spray, so. Let's see what this one, I got a uh, dragon fruit peach. I don't know, just sounded better than the other ones to me. And also coconut can sometimes make my, uh, ooh, that mist is nice. Can sometimes make my face break out. So what's with dragon fruit peach? Mm. Yeah, that smells so good. It makes me want to drink it. All right, you guys, so that is the final makeup look. I'm so happy with how it came out. You guys, this is a really, let me not break stuff. All right, you guys, so this is actually a really good palette. I'm not mad at it. it. It does have a little bit of fallout, but then again, you guys, remember, I've only used two, four, five shades out of here, so there will be more looks to come, but overall, this is a really good palette. I love the bronzer, the palette. The powder, I don't know. I'm gonna have to keep messing with this powder. Maybe I need to apply it with a brush instead of with the sponge because it clung to clung to some spots. These lashes, y'all, I like these lashes. I like these lashes. Again, they're the Kiss So Flirty Lashes. And I have not tried these. Now don't get Kiss Flirty Lashes because there's a difference between the So Flirty and the flirty, the flirty, like the just plain flirty lashes have a thicker band. They're they're more full and more bold, but these so flirty ones, I like. I like it a lot. Gonna have to see how this does throughout the day. 
Um, so far my skin does look really good. So I really like these two as a primer. This really helped um, add some hydration back into my skin because for a second there y'all, I was looking a little dry. So if you know like you're not normal to dry, you just have straight up dry skin, don't go for this foundation because it, but if you have oily to normal skin or you are more normal skinned right now, try this foundation, you guys. It's $4. You can find it at Family Dow at Family Dollar. I love how it looks. The coverage was amazing. Like, it just looks good. I am a sucker for all things e.l.f. E.l.f. has really good makeup. I really love their bite size anythings at this point. So yeah, and I love this color. I can't wait to play with this one. But like I said, I think I'm gonna have to lose a little bit of color before I can use it. <clears throat> Still not sure how I like the concealer. Like it's not doing anything crazy. It's not creasing or anything like that. It was really good to clean up my brows. But um, the only thing is that I don't, let me put this thing down. <laughs> the only thing is that I don't like this wand. Like, yes, the wand is very cute. It's it like, it's cute because it's I, I Heart Revolution. It's called the Heartbreakers Mascara. You got the heart up here. It's real cute, but it's just not practical. They could have put a regular wand in here and it wouldn't have not, it would have not bothered me at all. So yeah, it's just hard to get product with the wand, but so far so good. And also this is not a full coverage concealer, more like light to medium. Um, highlighter I really like. I love how natural it is, but glowy, like, I don't know. I like this eyeliner. I like this eyeliner. The eyeliner is great. The lip liner is great. And so is this. The This eyeliner is great. The lip gloss is real glossy. And mm, mm, there's better for cheaper than this mascara. So... Yeah, I think that's the rundown of all the new products that I use today, you guys. Always remember that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, let me know what are some makeup products you're loving that I haven't tried or you haven't seen me try in a while. Like, just let me know some of your current favorite makeup products. I love you guys, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah!